What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic, and even though it feels like I just did a video talking about Wi-Fi 6E, today's video is about the newest Wi-Fi standard, which is Wi-Fi 7. Now before I show off the insane Wi-Fi 7 router I have with me today, I wanna to talk really briefly about Wi-Fi 7. So there have been a couple of new wireless standards over the past few years, like Wi-Fi 6 and 6E, and even though Wi-Fi 6E was already pretty fast, Wi-Fi 7 not only makes 6E seem slow, but it even makes most wired connections look slow. So Wi-Fi 7 has double the bandwidth of 6E, 4K qualm, twice as many spatial streams, and a maximum theoretical throughput of up to 30 gigabits per second, which is absolutely insane. Another really cool feature of Wi-Fi 7 is MLO, or multi-link operation. This allows you to use all three wireless bands, so 2.4, 5, and 6 gigahertz all at the same time for a single wireless device, which can improve your speed, latency, and signal strength. So the Wi-Fi 7 router that I'll be showing you today is made by TP-Link. TP-Link has been doing some pretty amazing things lately on both the consumer and business side. I actually just switched from Ubiquiti Unify wireless access points to TP-Link Omada for the main Wi-Fi in my house, and my Wi-Fi has never been faster or more stable, so I'm definitely a fan. So what I have with me here is the TP-Link Deco BE85. This is a BE22000 tri-band whole home mesh Wi-Fi system, and this thing is absolutely insane. This system is so bleeding edge that there are only a couple of wireless devices that can take advantage of its capabilities. So in order to test this thing, I'm gonna be using a OnePlus 11 5G, which actually has Wi-Fi 7 built in, and is honestly the only phone I know of that has this technology right now. Now before I show you what this thing can do, let's take a quick look at the design. So this is a three pack system which comes with three identical units. They have a nice cylinder shape measuring just over nine inches tall and around five inches wide. They have a small LED light on the bottom which you can use to tell the status of the unit, vents on the top as well as an internal fan to keep things cool, and of course all the ports are on the back. I think this is the first time I've seen this on a consumer grade router, but these actually have SFP plus ports on them. Now most people probably don't even know what this is, but this is a port that usually exists on commercial grade network equipment that allows you to use a 10 gig fiber or twin X connection. So if you happen to have an insanely fast internet connection, this thing will easily handle it. And if you don't wanna use the SFP port, it also has a 10 gig ethernet port, giving you some nice flexibility. It also has another 10 gig port that you can use for your high-end network equipment, or you can use it as a wired backhaul for the other access points. And you also get two 2.5 gig ethernet ports for even more devices. It also has a USB 3.0 port that you can use for shared storage, and it has a WPS button for easy Wi-Fi setup. So I happen to have some extra fiber cable as well as a 10 gig transceiver laying around, so we'll be taking full advantage of everything this router has to offer. All right, so I've done a lot of talking about the performance for this system, so I'm sure you're ready to see just how fast we're talking, and I'm gonna get into that, but before I get into the test results, I wanna take a quick moment to talk about today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Pulseway. So if you didn't know, I've been an IT professional for about 17 years, so I know that managing an IT infrastructure can be a major pain, and even worse if you don't have the staff or help you need. Well, Pulseway is a remote monitoring and IT management platform that takes the stress off IT staff by streamlining your monitoring, automation, and IT management tasks. Now, IT management software isn't new, but what makes Pulseway stand out from the rest is their intuitive interface on both their desktop software and phone app. It's super easy to use and it's laid out in a way that makes sense. You can easily create application deployments for all your computers on your network, monitor the computer's resources, create alerts, or even remote control your systems. But the best part is that you can do all this stuff right from your mobile phone, so you technically don't even need to be in the office stuck in front of a computer waiting for something to break. If something happens, you can be notified right on your phone, see what's going on, and fix it right from wherever you are. So if you're an IT pro looking to make your life easier, be sure to use the links in the video description to check out Pulseway today. I wanna to thank Pulseway for sponsoring this portion of today's video and let's get back into it. All right, so it's time to run some tests with the Deco BE85 and OnePlus 11. So as I do with all my testing, I'll be using my own internal speed test server running on multiple machines, and I'll place the main router in my kitchen, which is in the middle of the house, and run speed tests from several locations around the house. Then I'll run some tests from the mesh access point to see how fast that connection is. All right guys, so now we're in my kitchen where I'm gonna run the very first speed test, and I'm standing about nine or 10 feet away from the main access point so we can see the fastest speeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the speed test. 
we are definitely gonna somehow get over three gigs a second. So we're, oh my God. So it looks like we're gonna end up with 334.92. So that's almost 3,500 megs a second, which is ridiculous. Let's see what we get on the upload. I can't imagine it's gonna be that fast. Oh my God. So we're gonna end up with 3,168. So over three gigs a second down. That is the craziest speed I think I've ever seen over Wi-Fi. All right, so now I'm standing all the way across the room. So I'm about 35 feet away from the main access point, but it is line of sight. So we can see if standing right up on it gave us the fastest speeds and let's see what we get. And we are still getting over three gigs a second, which is unbelievable. Are we gonna get over two gigs a second upload? So we're gonna end up with 1922. So almost two gigs a second upload across the room all right so now i'm in the sitting room which is on the other side of the house in the front of the house and again i'm now about probably about another 35 feet away from the router but now i'm going through some walls so we'll see how the walls affect the speed test so let's see what we get here so it looks like we're probably going to get over two gig oh my god we're almost pushing three somehow what is this is crazy and we are at 2817 this is crazy man i mean this is am i going to get over a gig upload I got 1175, that's well over a gig. All right guys, so now we're downstairs in the basement, which is a place where a lot of the wireless routers that I test out have trouble. So we're about 40 feet away from the wireless router and we're down one level. So we're gonna run a speed test here and see what kind of speeds we get. All right, so right off the bat, it's definitely gonna be over a gig. And it looks like we're gonna get around 1700, yeah, 1704, so around 1700 megs a second, which is incredible. And let's see what we get on the upload. So yeah, the upload is definitely struggling a bit compared to the download, which is pretty common down here in the basement because a lot of routers struggle down here. And looks like we're gonna get it 366 up. So a really good speed, even though it's not quite as good as we got upstairs, that's still pretty good. All right guys, so now I wanna run a speed test outside in my driveway. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the rush hour traffic behind me. But this is what I like to call the Bermuda Triangle of Wi-Fi in my house, since it's where I usually get the worst signal. Some routers don't even get a signal out here. So let's go ahead and run a speed test and see what we get. All right, yeah, so 119, that's definitely among the best that I've seen so far. And let's see what we get on the upload. All right, so 119 down and 40, almost 42 up. That is definitely pretty good. This is gonna be about 70 feet away from the main router outside in the driveway. That's a pretty good speed. All right, guys, so now I'm in my wife's office, which is upstairs and about 40 feet away from the router. So it's one floor away. So right here, I have one of the mesh units sitting right here on the desk and it's connected wirelessly to the main router downstairs. So we're gonna run a speed test here and see what kind of speeds we get. Wow, this is absolutely insane. It looks like we just got 1780, which is 1.7 gigs a second. And let's go ahead and see what we're gonna get on the upload. And we got 1.3 gigs per second upload. So to put this into perspective, with most wireless routers, when you have a whole home system, when you're using the mesh access point, you're usually gonna see significantly lower speeds. But considering the technology in these routers, we're still seeing really, really fast speeds. So this is really a game changer for whole home Wi-Fi since they usually work best when wired together. But right now, now with this type of unit, you really don't have to wire it. You can put it anywhere in your house where you're having signal issues and still get a connection that's over a gigabyte, which is absolutely incredible. All right, so there you have it, guys. Wi-Fi 7 is clearly not all hype. And the real kicker is that I was just using a cell phone for these tests. I would imagine that a Wi-Fi 7 laptop would show even faster speeds, so I'll have to test that out once we start to see more Wi-Fi 7 devices pop up. And just in case you're interested, I also did some tests with Wi-Fi 5 and 6. E, so you can see what kind of numbers I got from those. Now they're not nearly as fast as the OnePlus 11, which has Wi-Fi 7, but they're still insanely fast. Okay, so with all these cutting edge features, how much does this system cost? Well, the three pack system will set you back a whopping $1,500 or $1,000 for a two pack. Now we have seen this before. Every time a brand new system comes out, the price is astronomical. Then a few months later, the price starts to drop significantly. So I expect the same thing will happen here. But what's really insane is that this isn't even the most expensive version. TP-Link also has a BE95 system, which has two six gigahertz channels that sells for 1200 bucks for two units. So if you really wanna be cutting edge and have the latest and greatest, you can go for that system. At the end of the day, I've never seen performance like this, and to say it's impressive is definitely an understatement. 
I want to thank TP Link for sending out the BE85 for me to test with, and I want to thank you guys for watching the video. And if you found the video helpful, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me. And if you haven't already, definitely consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on new videos like this one. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.